Speaking of the gays, let's watch this. Have you questioned your sexuality? Lesbians versus straight women. I hope this isn't turfed up the wazoo, but we'll see. We'll see what uh, happens in the new middle ground video from Jubilee. That brings humans with opposing beliefs together. These discussions may contain viewpoints that are the result of misinformation. Remember to seek out experts and to be critical of your own biases while forming an opinion. Hey, Please for Pride Month, I'm giving a gift to my lesbians. Okay, there you go. See the humanity in each participant, and as always, we encourage empathy. I'm a black woman, and I'm a dominant black woman, so I must be gay. I must be a lesbian. <laughs> what is that, though? Like, what? Why does everyone always say, like, oh, you look like a lesbian? What is that? What does a lesbian look like? This isn't a gift that's a hate crime? Why? It's lesbian representation. What the f do you mean? Listen, lesbians literally got the absolute best colors in the LGBT pride uh, rainbow uh, equation, okay? So miss me with this bullshit. Literally the greatest sequence of colors across the board, okay? Sometimes you're going to take an L. Sometimes you're going to take an L, okay? You can't take Ws all day every day. Literally the best sequence of colors. I would say probably trans people the second. Bi people have a good color uh, sequence too. Everyone else, color sequences suck. Step forward if you agree with the prompt. It's normal for straight women to feel some attraction towards women. Also, don't make me, don't make me do lesbian reduction of visibility, okay? Don't make me do it. We already erased uh, bisexuals from LGBT and gave that honor to the balds. I will do it for the lesbians too. <laughs> yeah, I think so that is. It, I'd rather be hate crime by a conservative than be represented by jubilee yeah this is not going to be good it's going to be a shit show we're i mean but we're here to have fun let's go completely normal women are attractive we are cute we are hot we're fiery and yes we're attracted to each other i've actually been on maybe like two dates with women because women are attractive and they're beautiful people my feeling has always been that um it's because i've had past a past relationship with a man that was significant folks have said well you should identify as bisexual right mm -hmm. and i'm like interesting you know because ultimately to me calling yourself a label is is not so much a labeling as it is an identifying and it's like you're you end up choosing yeah. um and so you can stop where you want right like i think there's the journey and then for me it was like no i stopped at lesbian and i'm staying here yeah. Yeah. so that's the word that i'm <laughs> using i remember seeing a tweet that i thought was really interesting which was actually a screenshot of a TikTok, which dictated, which stated that like, isn't it interesting that like bisexual women are treated as straight and then their bisexuality is fake and bisexual men are treated as gay and that their bisexuality is considered, you know, fake. And both of those uh, concepts revolve around ability by other men, like by straight men. Like both of those concepts revolve around the male, heterosexual male gaze. It's 100% true, and I had never thought about that, but that is a consequence of patriarchy and patriarchal attitudes. That, like, bi women are actually straight, lol, okay, come on with your bisexuality, let's be real, right? And, uh, and, and bisexual men are actually gay, uh, come on with your bisexuality, you're just gay. It's just, uh, it's, it's pretty obvious, and I had never thought about it that way, but, yeah, it is about uh, men overall. Don't mistake this! I am still a foe! to the LGBT community, okay? Do not mistake me for saying these sorts of things as someone that is not a foe. I am still a foe very much. <laughs> I do have a follow-up question. Have you thought about women while masturbating? Yes. Again, women are sexy. Even for me, and I'm a straight woman, I don't always like straight, can I say the P word on here? Porn. I don't necessarily <laughs> like straight porn. Don't they say like, like statistics? I have heard this so much from straight women that they watch like uh, lesbian porn. And I think part of that comes from, I, don't, I mean, I'm sure she'll describe it now, but of course I'm a, a misogynist and a hater of LGBT. So I'm going to silence and a racist. I'm going to silence a uh, black woman here and, and give you my take. And that is that lesbian porn is one of the few instances where you actually see someone orgasming. And this is something that's important for me as well, specifically because like, I don't like a lot of super professional high budget porn because I don't think that they're actually coming in it. And that's why I like uh, uh, amateur porn more. That's like what I, fo that's what I like jerking off to more than uh, super professional ones because like, I just feel as though 
the the orgasm in that one doesn't feel real. So that's part of the reason I think though I, a lot of straight girls uh, appreciate that kind of porn. There you go. I had to I had to I had to mansplain for a second there. See that women in general, straight or not, watch gay porn because yeah. you're looking at the woman being. Have we love pleasure, that. and that's it, it's that that pleasure sensation that we're looking for that I don't always get when I'm watching men Ooh, and women. That actually makes sense because Pre-watch. I was a late bloomer and I found out what porn was when I was 17. When I saw it, I was like, "Oh, sex is for the man," because that's kind of wow. how it looked. It's for the man. It's for the man to feel good. I it never like clicked to me like, "Oh, you're supposed to also feel something." So I understand what you yeah. said when you mean that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Hi, my name's Sarah, and I'm a straight woman. Physically, I've had attraction towards women. I had a crush on a girl, but that was it, really, just a crush. Other than that, I haven't really thought about getting intimate with women sexually or romantically. Girly girl and tomboy are problematic terms. What? Personally, are I'm they? Fuck! The only I'm learning so much. I'm learning too much. I'm learning too much. God damn it! This is one of those instances where you're doing too much college. Okay, stop. Because a lot of my friends were boys, and I was just told, "Oh, Claire's just a tomboy." I mean, I was a dress-wearing girl. I was had bike ramps in my front yard. I wanted to do all that stuff, and so like, she's a tomboy, um, and that kind of fuzzied my queerness for me. And growing up, I was very hyper femme. I got Easter dresses and wore them year round, those big like tool Easter dresses. I did that too. The best. But I was then looked at as a girly girl. So it's like, she can't be gay if she looks this way. Well, I think it's hard when you tell someone what they what are. What they are, yeah. I, so that's the only thing that I'm like, that could be You know what's really funny about these sorts of terms though? It's kind of like the difference between someone uh, like saying someone is gay or like speculating that someone is gay and saying someone is queer coded, like a character. The difference is literally very little in between, but one is deemed as acceptable and appropriate to say, and the other is considered to be like kind of up and unacceptable, right? Girly girl and tomboy are problematic terms, but like saying someone is mask presenting or saying someone's femme presenting is not. Ultimately, uh, sure, con like contextually, one is like a little bit more appropriate, but isn't that like kind of still the same thing? You know what I mean? I guess like maybe I'm getting older, so I, I I miss it. Like I miss the mark that like Zoomers, uh, the things the Zoomers are advocating for. Problematic, because like you said, it fuzzied it for you, and that's why I think it could be problematic because you can't put someone in a certain place; they have to do it themselves. I think if you're self-labeling, it's fine. It's not the same thing. It's the stereotypes behind them that are harmful. It's not the same thing. Wait, why is it not the same thing? Uh, because it comes from a place of thinking women should be girly girls, so the girly girls are what you should aspire to be. No, 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 no. I mean, but people, I guess, I, oh yeah, I guess that's true. Cause like the basis is that you shouldn't be a tomboy as in like being a tomboy or having like masculine, having a ma more masculine gender expression, for example, is seen as something that is like outside of the norm for women. And therefore that's the reason why it's considered to be bad, right? Or can be problematic. But like yeah. putting someone else Agreed. into it. I get it. Not great. Hi, my name is Claire. I'm 23 years old and I am team lesbian. Compulsive heteronormativity is definitely um, a problem. It's when you... For the record, it's problematic in the sense that, like, I don't think um, the terms of slightly derogatory connotations, like, I don't think it's the end-all be-all. Like, I don't think you would be mad at someone who says it. You know what I mean? Automatically, you wouldn't turn around and be like, that, you said that, you're a bad person, you're a misogynist. Like, maybe some people do that. But if you do that, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're the type of person that does that, you're weirdo don't do that okay if you're the type of person who wants to do that don't grow up being assumed as straight that definitely happened for me i grew up with only straight role models watching only straight people on tv all i saw was straight culture and i had those feelings start to develop that i thought were wrong and i was repressing and pushing them down so i definitely think compulsive heteronormativity is a problem in society and we need to have a lot more queer role models in all our communities Which is ironic because, like, it goes back to the grooming idea where it's like, uh, you know, 
compulsive heteronormativity is, of course, uh, pumped out through every facet of our existence and therefore makes it a lot harder for gay people to come out, makes it a lot harder for, you know, uh, people who are gender nonconforming to to come out and recognize their own gender expression, sexuality, yada, yada. And that's precisely the reason why, uh, you know, conservatives actually retaliate so aggressively and consider it grooming when you do show uh, queer examples in media. When you do actually uh, have a better understanding of gender and better understanding of sexuality and 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 feature that in your um, feature that in your teachings, um, part of the reason why they fear that is because it's not necessarily making more gay people or making more trans people. It's that it is creating an environment that it makes it easier for them to open up and and recognize their own sexuality, be more comfortable with their own sexuality, recognizing that it's not actually a bad thing. Uh, that it's not moral degeneracy. You're just normalizing the existence. It's the same attitude between like uh, you know levels or rates of autism, uh, or or uh, the rate of left-handed people. If you suppress left-handedness and forcibly train people to be right-handed in society, and then one day decide maybe that was not the right thing to do, we shouldn't do that anymore. Boom! All of a sudden, oh, observable left-handedness in society is skyrocketing. What did they change? The food. No, it's just that people are more comfortable being left-handed now. Same with autism. Uh, if people can diagnose uh, uh, people on the spectrum better, there are better methods of diagnosing people on the spectrum, then all of a sudden, boom, what's happening? The autism rate is skyrocketing. What is this? Is this, you know, the vaccines? Is this something in the food or something in the water? No, it's just that medical technology is improved, and now there are more people who, who are, are recognized to be on the spectrum. Um there you go. It has nothing to do with like other external factors. Same it, same attitude goes for gay people as well and queer people in general. Uh, more people are comfortable coming out, and that's precisely what Republicans are fearful of. Seeing uh, representation of like uh, queer people in media is not going to turn you queer. It just means that you were queer in some way, and now you are more comfortable seeing that and more comfortable expressing yourself as such. That's it. Conservatives, of course, don't want that. They want to stop that. They want to literally stop that um which is why i eliminated bisexuals from lgbt and included bald representation because bald people only get a bad rap in media they're seen as villains by society whereas bisexuals are not which is why i'm advocating once again for the b in lgbt to be the balds okay we need to normalize being bald in society <laughs> So I think there's a split here to be made between being womanly and being feminine, right? Like, I feel womanly, but I'm masculine in terms of my presentation. And I, I also am I'm going to say this. Being feminine has emotional qualities, and being masculine has emotional qualities. Yeah, the expectation is I must be submissive. I must yes. be the mm -hmm. one because I am female by default. I'm the submissive one. I am very dominant. I'm dominant in the way that I present myself and when I'm in a room. And so men, especially, will, they are, they're the ones who will suggest. I'm a black woman and I'm a dominant black woman. So I must be gay. I must be a lesbian. I must be a lesbian. <laughs> what is that though? Like what, why does everyone always say like, oh, you look like a lesbian. What is that? What does a lesbian look like? There is no look. It's just what you are and who you are. I mean, my mom, when obviously when I came out, my mom was like, okay, well, you're a lesbian, so why do you date women that like to dress like men? Okay, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what they want to wear. That's what they want to wear? Okay, great. So I was going to ask you guys a question. Like, do you feel girly girl or tom tom, tom boy? I present like in a more feminine way, but I feel like internally, I don't know if I'm masculine but i feel like i embody a lot of like male traits where i'm like i think with logic and i'm like strong and don't really like say how i feel but like externally i'm feminine mm -hmm. but also it does like pose difficulty when i'm out like wanting to look at girls a lot of time like i'm making eye contact and they're like why is this girl looking at me the way the patriarchy functions is that it's like divide and divide women and conquer women divide and conquer mm -hmm. right we're supposed to fight with each other we're supposed to compete over oh, men specifically yeah. like yeah i don't you know sometimes i feel like i always want to believe the best in women but i feel like we've all had that thing where we're like why is that girl staring at me did she not like me like is she yeah, not like, like, right, like what's going right. on so, so, maybe so, she so, yeah maybe she just likes me maybe she thinks i'm cute and i'll think that next time maybe i'm like yeah. Hi, I'm Dia and I'm straight. Whenever I saw Walk a Flock of Flame for the first time, I knew that that was my lane. I <laughs> did go through what a phase where I was trying to see if I was interested in girls, but then 
it usually always led back to men. I did hear that her, uh, she said that logic is like a scene as a, I mean, logic is a male trait. Uh, I hate logic. So there you go. Destroyed. I'm Not the rapper. By my the rapper's fine. I think like there was a time in my life where I was like, oh, boys are great. And then I got hurt, mm. like a real hurt, where I was just like, man. Oh, need a break. And so then I was kind of like, well, where do I go next? And so, you know, I went on my dates, as I, as I told you. And um, I just haven't found a woman that, you know, makes me go, <laughs> you know? I mean, personally, like, I'm still confused every day. And I think, <laughs> so I, think sexual, <laughs> but I think sexuality is so fluid. Like, you can always be changing how you feel. And it's also, like, this um, attachment to still holding on hope that maybe I'll like a guy or maybe like I, I saw could this feel already. something with a guy. Here, uh, trigger warning Dinesh D'Souza, trigger warning Dinesh D'Souza. I'm so proud of my pride mouth attire. I'm posting it again. Find this and other cool stuff at his shop. Proud member of the LGB FJB community, which is let's go Brandon f Joe Biden community. That's what he's saying. That's the shirt he's selling. I love that, dude. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, I need one of those shirts to be Bye. honest. And even like identifying on like the lesbian side was hard for me because I still hold on to that label of being bisexual because I've dated men and because I still know I can like make myself in a way like men. So it's like, yeah. do I like men because I like men or because yeah. I've grown up thinking That's I because, should? Yeah, because they gave us that dream that you're supposed to find that prince charming and you're supposed to fall in love and have these kids and it's supposed to be like this thing, so. In my life I had this plan out, like mm -hmm. I'm gonna get married to a surfer guy, we're gonna have all these cute little kids and it's gonna be great. And I went on a date, it was my first date with a boy in high school, and I was like, he's gonna hold my hand at the movie theater, oh my gosh, it's gonna happen, and he touched me and I did this. And my body knew yeah. before my head knew. Queer was not used that often, middle school, high school, the derogatory term was gay. That's gay, she's gay, that meant lame. So for me, I'm like, I'm not gay. I'm not, I don't think I'm lame. So fell under queer, gay, lesbian, as I got comfortable and deconstructed those labels myself. I think that family does play a huge role. Um, I was married to a man for six years. It was a little bit hard for me to actually like have the courage to come out mm -hmm. uh, because I do come from a very strict Latina household. I try to force myself into you know, being in a heterosexual relationship for the sake of my family and for the sake of the what if, what if it doesn't work out with a woman or me being scared and terrified. So I think that confusion is a very... It's kind of funny to see like, I mean, it's not an accident that you look at this lineup and it's like, here's the people that are confused about their sexual orientation. Only one of the straights, but all of the gays. I wonder why, you know? I mean, it's not funny in like a ha-ha funny uh, way. It's funny in the way that it's like kind of dark, tragic, you know? ...of my sexual orientation because I was in a relationship with a man for like seven years. And I learned over time that like the dynamic that we had when we had sex was the dynamic that I wanted, but I didn't want to be the me in it. Then I slowly started to identify as a butch. I remember someone saying this, and I don't know who it was, but somebody looked at me and said, butch women couldn't get a man, so they're trying to be one. It was like a double failure. My name is Rachel. Isn't that interesting? That like, the same, now TERFs do this shit, like to trans people, you know what I mean? It's the same type of bigotry. It is literally the same type of bigotry, dude. It's crazy. Now turfs do it to trans people, like literally in almost identical terms. It is all recycled uh, towards whoever is like seen as like the acceptable target of this kind of viciousness. And I'm on the lesbian side. Heteronormativity in the sense of a set of norms that disciplines people and subjugates them. Is like get new content, bigots. You know what I mean? Spice it up a little bit. Come up with like something interesting, something unique. Damn. Certainly a the problem, same goddamn especially in the shit. way that it impacts girls who are supposed to have a man or, as they say about butch women, try to be one. I don't, that's not to say that heterosexuality is a problem. It's not crazy for people to be heterosexual, just like it's not crazy that, that gay feeling and sexuality is also natural.
in my experience, I've only been with men sexually and on dates, so I just haven't had that experience myself. But if I were to, at any point, have those experiences with women, I wouldn't put a label in it. The reason why I disagreed about being conflicted, there's some things I don't ever explain to other people. This is one of them. I don't explain to you who I take home. I don't explain to you what I do in my room. I don't explain any of that. I like women. I've been on dates with women. I've done what I do with women and men, but I'm not going to I label myself just so somebody else can put me in a category. I just always wanted to know this. Why is it so important that you are identified correctly and the, the need to come out, yep. the need to say, I am this, I am that. Personally, I saw just the straight side of life. And I wasn't feeling the same way my friends were. And like when you get middle school, high school, college, I felt wrong. I was gonna disappoint my family. I was gonna be looked at my whole life as something less than. And I don't, if labels are not important to you, I think it's a personal thing. But for me, finding people that were saying like, this is why I feel this way, I'm like, I felt that way too. When you said, well, why is it such a big deal to come out of the closet? Like, but imagine being in a closet. It's dark, it's lonely, like. Mm. You're getting it all wrong, TERFs only hate, TERFs only hate rich white dudes dressing up as women, everyone else is cool, they hate the patriarchy that much. Dude, are you insane? Do you think we don't know what trans exclusionary radical feminists are like? You're unironically, or I can't tell what you're saying right now. You're unironically repeating like a transphobic talking point. Please uh, explain yourself a little bit better in better terms of clarity because that's not true. Uh, what you're you're what you're doing is like just turf propaganda in here. But he did say turf like T U R F. I don't know what that means. I don't know what he's talking about. You don't have anyone to express your feelings to. Mm. And I also think representation is so important. Yes. Like personally, yeah. I grew up with a, a mom and a dad. Then my parents split up and now my mom is married to a woman. And they were actually the first black same sex couple to be on the cover of Essence magazine. Wow. So I just wow. feel like, I know, right? Representation is so important. What if there were no labels? What, what would that look, look like? There would be no community. There would be no, I feel like if there were no labels, it's sad to say, but I feel like a lot of people would be in the closet, would be in the dark. Hi, my name is Amy. I got a PLB I am back. A lesbian. I did hide myself for a very long time just because I do come from a very strict household. I did endure you know, actually being in that hetero relationship and actually experiencing it firsthand. It took me like a whole year of me basically ignoring him for me to finally realize like, I can't be doing this. Like, this is not who I am. This is not what I want for the rest of my life. I believe traditional gender roles are important. <laughs> oh, wait. They're important to a degree. You know, if a man were to date a woman and they were to get married, you would expect the man to um, provide and the woman to, well, stay home or, or work and just raise the children. If we didn't have those gender norms, then, the well, how would, how would the world work? The reason I said that I agree is because the word role is, the, is that word for a reason. A role is a performance. So it's, it's not, we don't need to naturalize it. We don't need to say women are this one and men are this one or whatever your body is means your destiny is this. I just think that the, as social performances and ways of organizing our lives, we're not ever gonna really get rid of the masculine feminine thing. So I think acknowledging it so that we can think critically about it is what matters. I believe we're in a space where we're starting to like tear down things that we're not entirely understanding or appreciating why it was built. We have to appreciate that we have to have some type of structure. Now, does that structure mean that because I'm born with a certain genitalia, this is the role I'm destined to be in? I don't know. It depends on which society you belong to. I don't want to do everything. I don't. That's why gender roles are important too. You're designating, this is what you do, this is what I do. I think that's okay. Uh -oh. I am Marsha, uh -oh. and I am straight. I think a lot uh -oh. of- Uh-oh. Gender roles are important? Oh, this, I'm sure this will be not controversial to say. Uh-oh. Chat will be conflicted on this as well. Uh, this is too confusing for me. This part of the, this part is, is, is definitely, uh, too difficult for me to parse through as well. To, um, provide 
and the woman to, well, stay home or, or work and just raise the children. If we didn't have those what? gender norms, then, the well, how would, how would the world work? The reason I said that I agree is because okay. the word role is the, is that word for a reason. A role is a performance. So it's, it's not, we don't need to naturalize it. We don't need to say women are this one and men are this one or whatever your body is means your destiny is this. I just think that the, as social performances and ways of organizing our lives, we're not ever gonna really get rid of the masculine feminine thing. So I think acknowledging it so that we can think critically about it is what matters. I believe we're in a space where we're starting to like tear down things that we're not entirely understanding or appreciating why it was built. We have to appreciate that we have to have some type of structure. Mm -hmm. Now, does that structure mean that because I'm born with a certain genitalia, this is the role I'm destined to be in? I don't know. It depends on which society you belong to. I don't want to do everything. I don't. That's why gender roles are important too. What? You're designating, this is what you do, this is what I do. I think that's okay. I am Marsha and I am straight. I think a lot of the decisions that we make what? come from pre-programming. For one, I'm Jamaican born. In Jamaica, being homosexual is a no. We don't do that. There was only one way. You were straight. That was it. Wait, I'm confused by that. You could just do that without gender norms though. Like you could do whatever the you want to do without gender norms gender norms just basically create like some kind of predetermination of what you're supposed to do then you work against it I, I don't understand like she literally arrived at the correct position at the end while simultaneously defending gender norms like that's weird that actually doesn't make sense to me at all maybe i'm misunderstanding it who's coming on the stream um multiple people are coming on the stream today uh, uh austin show is coming on the stream soon in a little bit uh, then I'm, a, I'm going to have I Did a Thing and William Osman, um, who I found out was Turkish, half Turkish, uh, coming on the stream in a little bit after. Okay, here it is. Yes, Austin Show, a.k.a. Mr. Show, a.k.a. the man, the myth, the legend behind the legendary Hoscord streams, a.k.a. Captain, whatever the f Captain John, is that what you guys are calling him? Yes, that guy from the Discord. So part of my decision is definitely my upbringing, but it's also from my experiences and realizing this is my fit. This works better for me. Me and my girlfriend, we don't perform gender roles at all. Like we care for each other equally and it's definitely a bit different, I think. Do y'all live together? Uh, no. That makes a difference. Yeah. But we, for the past three weeks, we've been living together, though, so. That may shift the longer you live together. Yeah. I mean, I don't see how, why, um, like, certain response. Damn. Lesbian couple that doesn't live together? I guess Jubilee is breaking stereotypical boundaries. But I'm just. Sorry, I had to get one off, dude. I had to fire one off. Okay, give me a break. <clears throat> Sorry household responsibility should be defined by gender mm -hmm. especially because like i grew up with two moms so i never was like oh like this is like my mom and my dad like this is my mom and my mom and both my parents worked they like threw my ass in daycare and it was just like in a way i guess i had two dads if you want to like put it in that way but like i think it's like about a balance of like sharing responsibility you know well, but just saying that the gender roles are important mean that we're saying that they should be employed? Because I'm not saying that they should be forced on anybody. Yeah. It's just whether and how much you want to like take it on. They should I, not be forced on I'm everybody. Saying... When you were talking about uh, doing the dishes and whatnot, my ex-husband was the person who stayed at home. I was the one who was at work. He was the one that was doing the dishes and cooking. The world would be a better place without men. Well, I what? was just, like, thinking historically, like, men have <laughs> what the, the fuck? ones that have caused wars. Hey, yo, chill! created a place where women didn't have the same respect or capacity to be heard and seen. I think it'd be easier, in a sense, for me, personally. I think a lot of the times, men don't understand. This is your brain on radical liberalism, bro. ...stand that... I could be a woman that doesn't want to end up with a man, that they want to like change me or a man or woman is like the only right way. Hi, my name is Jamie and I am on the lesbian side. 
I think it just comes down to that I know I'm capable of being with men and I find them attractive and like I could see myself being with them sexually, but like romantically, I don't think I could ever really connect to a man. With men's power, so to speak, it gets like almost too extreme. Dude, nothing funnier than men going, she would probably kill us if she could, Sag. Like, no, dude. Like, what are you? No. She literally just said she likes the f men. What is wrong? Dude, yes, we should be scared, lol. Like, as a guy, I understand that kind of thinking. Okay, guys, there's something wrong with you if you think that, okay? Please stop literally thinking that, like, women who say, oh, f men or whatever, um, men are trash or are, are, are being serious or at the very least, like, taking them seriously. Don't take them f seriously. Even if they were legit, even if they were being serious, which I usually don't believe they are. I don't think they are. They have no power. It is a patriarchal construct that we exist under, okay? So all they can do is a little bit of shit slinging. So calm the down. That kind of fear is unironically uh, super reactionary to think like some random rad femme is going to come out and kill you and that like misinjury is a genuine problem or some shit. Like, you know, look what's happening today with the old white men trying to control abortion or women's bodies. But, um... Today, I think we would still need them in the world just to have at least a different perspective. It's just funny because I couldn't even finish dunking on her for saying a world without men would be an objectively better place because, like, men are responsible for all the violence. Yeah, famously, like, women are responsible for none of the violence. When I think of, like, the colonial violence that, like, black men were subjected to, for example, I never think about white women's role and responsibility in the matter. I never think about Hillary Clinton, Margaret Thatcher, numerous other examples of like women being uh, incredibly brutal. Okay? Yeah. It's just so stupid. It's just such an idiotic take and it's just a rad lib take. That's it. It's just what that's just what no context radical uh, feminism does for you. Yep. I mean, I really struggled with this question because looking back, the only person in my life who's ever hit me was a femme lesbian I have had experiences with um, kind of unwanted sexual advances and things with men and all of that's been bad too, but like my very worst trauma that has just stuck with me was a woman. I don't think it'd be better without men, but I do think men need to be a little more educated on things. Even how we're treated in school by boys, like growing up was always... Mm -hmm. If they hurt you, they like you. If they yeah, yank on your no. pigtails. So I don't think we should like abolish all men, but I do think um, there needs to be some leveling out. I think that definitely we're getting there. I feel like because of what men have done in the past, you know, in our history, um, I feel like that's why they have this superiority again uh, over all of the women. Um, but I do think that we are here because of what we've gone through. <laughs> it's not surprising that rad fans turn out to be some of the worst. I mean, turfs is worse too. Brad femmes are unironically slaves of the patriarchy. They gro they greatly and grossly overemphasize like the responsibility that, that that men hold or the power that men hold in society, which I find to be relatively I mean which I find to be funny. Um This video is sponsored by We're gonna be watching Debunking Red Pill TikToks by a friend of the show Noah Sampson in his by new banger. Ren. I'm wearing a hoodie that says men can be feminist too. <laughs> I feel like I have to be over here. Oh god, dude. I just like Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>